What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, we're back in RimWorld, gonna try and get these episodes out nice and fast, at least twice a week, and plenty to do. First thing we should be doing is actually renaming, where is he, Greg? So basically the way this works, thanks for all the people that suggested colony names, all the people that sort of signed up to be a colonist as well, and the way this works is basically I stick all your names in a big old list and then I randomly pick someone. So in this case, and it's worth mentioning, I can only set nicknames. You can't change their full name afterwards. But anyway, someone new to the colony, Mr. Jurgen, welcome aboard, sir. He will be taking Greg's role as, what was, Greg was like some apocalypse survivor or something, wasn't he? Anyway, let's get things going. A lot of mess to clear up from last time. Another thing, people pointing out my mistakes already. So let's go in here. Yep, that is not how it should be. You are sleeping for too long, sir. Cool. And yeah, speed things up as well. Still got the solar flare. Gonna wanna try and get our research ready, get the steam power, the geothermal power up and running. How is research looking at the moment? Okay, so that's all right. We basically we're just gonna do microelectrics and then go straight for where is it geothermal power. But in order to do that, we need to replace the research bench. Uh Plenty of rubbish just kicking around the base. We were also starting to open up this back area. There was plenty of stuff that I was mining. Let's cut through. Frustratingly, I'm going to need to build walls on all this. The other thing I can do now is she clear out some of these rooms and move people inside finally. Ah, yes. The lack of wood was remaining a problem. Furniture, steel beds is fine for now. People can just get singles. Uh, can't do that room yet. We'll open that up. Our power is kind of okay. He's in a bad mood. Dragon. Power's kind of okay. Our defense, less so. I was in the process of building these and got somewhat interrupted. The other issue, apparently now I can't just leave power conduits running around outside, otherwise when it rains they break. Now I don't actually think we're going to get that much rain in the desert, but still, that's worth keeping in mind. I'll have to try and find a way of actually moving those inside at some point. Uh, right, quick set on, check on the priorities, everything here seems okay. Restrictions for the new guys okay as well. Things open up. Finally, I've had a blooming wood chipper sitting in the garden for the entire day. Not my garden, mind, next door's garden, but enough that there's something about that noise that just grates on you slowly. And of course, it also means that there's not a chance in hell I got any recording done while that thing was running. Uh, rotting drum dairy. Did we not manage to butcher that in time? Surely we've got a. We got a butcher build. We got no one actually doing it. Um, really, do with someone else doing the cooking, just because of the growing and plant cutting being such a high priority. Otherwise, uh, let's go with two for the time being. Kind of. Obviously important to get our food supplies sorted because I think we've got a limited growing time here as well. Like we can only grow for so much. What we do have, however, is plenty in the way of geothermal nearby. So that's that three right close. Ship part down there I might want to make use of at some point. Kinda really need to be thinking about getting somewhere for the prisoners to be as well, thinking about it. So let's uh This needs treatment. What's happened to me? Oh, is this the, this your gut worms, isn't it? This is mixed gut worms. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Untreated gut worms. Just what, just what everyone wanted. Right, the priority should be set right. The Mick will just go and get treated immediately. Yep. Good, good. One side of things I've not screwed up at least. Uh, so, a door there, door there, door there, door there. This is going to open this up to outside, but that's kind of fine. We'll just stick. Mm, need to get stone cutting on the go as well. Although we can, for the time being, just deconstruct some of the walls that are nearby. They normally give you a few walls that you can make use of. 
How far is that really? Not that far for a deconstruct. Deconstruction doesn't really take very long. It's most, mostly um, mining and stuff that you want to be careful you don't send people too far away. Although, that was supposed to be one of the challenges of this map. Like, what if I need someone down here? That's going to take such... It's going to take like a day to get there. Dragon has gotten sick from the plague. That's not great. Uh, we have an all right amount of meds remaining. And how is the meds growing? Not great either. Bet you that spreads too. So we end up with everybody getting that. Butcher table. Looks like at the moment the cooking is taking priority. Uh, these things... I used to keep the meals next door, but maybe we'll do the same thing again, but just a single pile, because they spoil super quickly. But it can be pretty handy to minimise that... Uh, uh, anything but kill, I think. Minimise that travel time back and forth. So now, potentially, I guess this is quite high priority, important. Yeah, let's do critical for that one. So that will get filled up first. It just means there's a really easy accessible place for the food. He says that will get filled up first and then they're going to take it. So oh, okay, fine. More efficient than I was expecting. The other thing I think we can do, again, normally I'd use wood for the floor, but in this case I can't. Maybe we'll just smooth the floor instead. I just want them to move a bit quicker. Obviously it does also help with mood if you're using proper floor materials but I could do concrete perhaps or metal tiles quite ugly maybe we'll go metal this time again it's just gonna have such a problem just keeping stuff in one piece and have to get like some massive wood farm on the go at some point oh they will prepare for a while and then attack the knuckle dusters what have we got Pump shotgun, shiv. Ugh, the first grenades have arrived. God damn it. Uh, turrets are up and running. I did forget to turn them off, however. That's my usual trick. Starvation. Mick, how are you starving, dude? There's meals. You really shouldn't be starving when there's meals available, but okay. That's better. <laughs> It's just slightly weird how that could happen, but hey, especially as he's... He, Mick, you're the chef as well, dude. But Smoothing floor, okay. I'm wondering what that animation even was. I've not, not really seen that. It's like the cleaning animation, but... I suppose I don't really do much floor smoothing. Dragon needs treatment. Miner hasn't spread yet. That's not too bad. People are getting a bit angry with me, however. We do have... A horseshoe pin. Let's also give them a chest table down here and somewhere to sit. And ooh, yes, the other thing I wanted to do, another suggestion from someone, is that in reality, if there if there's something's happening in this work period here that takes more than an hour, they won't actually get any joy time. So I might. This is going to make them less efficient, uh, but might just help. We'll see. Ooh. You guys have... I like the new sort of immediate flea mechanics. However, that was most definitely a mistake. Mick with the survival rifle, Kieran unarmed because you can't use anything, so you might as well stay back there, but please, need to set restricted zones for the base, in fact. Uh, home. Let's add a new area. Manage areas, let's add a new one. Rename. This will be like raid and wargs. This will allow me to set an area where the colonists will only be allowed to you know, you can set this and they'll be restricted to these zones and in particular during walks, this is important, but it can be kind of helpful when there's stuff like this going on. The only issue is, of course, at the moment that door actually leads outside. So for the time being, that needs to be forbidden. 
so they don't get outside. Yeah, right, guys need to run ASAP. Mick, can you flick the switch? That should act quite nicely as a distraction. Uh, one inside. We got anyone? We haven't got anyone that's good at melee. Jurgen. Don't want to lose anybody. Uh, go there. Jurgen, run. Mick, run. Guys outside can do what they want. Looks like they've got one of the turrets, damn it. That's better. Dragon. Mick. That's better. Who needs treatment? Jurgen, yeah. That's not too bad, was that? Couple of cuts and some gunshots from Dragon, who likes to shoot all of our friends. Relaxing socially, you know. Rest, you fool. Rest! Cowering. Nice. I need to clear my throat. Sorry, still not quite back to good health again. <clears throat> Poor mood, Mick. Why are you in such a bad mood? I had a deep talk, no less. Not really sure. A stranger's death. A bit of pain. Observed corp. Yeah, this is all stuff that should be getting dealt with. It's just taking a little while. Didn't get a chance to strip those corpses. I thought they were supposed to auto-strip these days, and they just don't seem to. I also am starting to think that smoothing this floor was a bad idea. It's taken way longer than I expected. Normally, it's not something I use. Normally, I have wood, to be honest. Now... It won't spoil, but ah, there we go. I was what? Oh, oh no! Oh no! It's tricky meat. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just realised I've missed the door, but okay. I did wonder if we were going to weep, Twinkie. Uh, the answer is. Oh, okay. We made it out of limestone, and because of that. We aren't getting it done. I'll have to do a steel one for the time being. And then try and remember to replace it at some point. Uh, so, that, that pile there. Dragon's still got the plague, apparently. Probably won't be eating Twinkie anytime soon, so that's alright. Not too bad. Uh, dumping zone is not big enough anymore. Uh, really need a separate one. I just wanted that one to be bigger than it was, thank you. That could do with being moved, thinking about it. It's kind of... Where's a good place that's not going to give them defensive options? Maybe around the corner here? kind of don't want to use up any of the potential ground I can grow on either. Whoa, interesting. I've only got one turret. Been chased by pirates from the shark men. Be warned if you accept, you have to fight off. You see, the one single turret's a problem, but at this point in the colony, you really need colonists to stand half a chance. So, we're gonna go risky. Go big or go home. Hunter lacks weapon, good. Someone that can use a weapon. Explosives expert. Oh, a neurotic, nervous, Optimist. What? Interesting combination. <laughs> Health-wise, you're all good. Character-wise, we got someone who can do the mining for us, primarily. But does have decent shooting, so you're going to need a gun ASAP. Oh, oh, yeah, going to mine immediately. So, do we have any spare decent weapons? Pump shotguns, probably appropriate. Yes, the other thing we're going to want to do is get the restrictions done. So, bed rest, flick, yep. 
Not a warden, thank you very much. Do need to start doing some taming as well. It's worth it's like arm four, but worth remembering to get going. We've got Kieran. We've actually got quite good taming potential. Not hunting, thank you very much. What you are going to be doing is mining. Lots of mining. Slightly secondary construction and repair. And then, I guess with the passion, we could go art. No research. Actually, this is why no research is getting done, isn't it? Let's stick that all on like that for the time being. Now we've just got to be ready for the raid that's going to follow in from down here. So what are we getting? Personal shield. That's interesting. Proper sniper rifle as well. A survival rifle and frag grenades. That's problematic because that outranges our turrets. Put that back. Jürgen, can you... um? Get it done as well. Let's slow things down this time so I don't derp up and make a massive mistake. Hopefully they'll show up while our visitors are still here. That, that will help us a bit. They are really close on Long's tail. Can someone... That's Jürgen, didn't I? We lacking materials. What's that going to be? We're missing components or... It's just missing steel because we've been using it for everything and no mining's getting done. Fair enough. Uh, right, how close are they? At least they're coming from the direction that's favourable for the turret. And for the visitors, thinking about it. Okay. Jürgen, you have a pistol. You are not a particularly helpful man. Kieran, I don't think you can do anything, can you? You're our not combative person. You two are going to need to come down as so long. Survival rifle, Mick. Back here, I think. Dragon, can you try and get down on the corner along with Jürgen? Oh no, Jürgen's pistol. Uh, pistol up there. It's Dragon that we want down here, uh, along with Long, who will need renaming next episode. Always do those at the start. Uh, actually, Mick, that's a terrible spot. One down, good start. Let's um, put these guys up on the corner. We're already going to lose that turret. To kidnap who they can and leave. It's not even... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. They'll pro probably get a bit angry with me for uh, letting their colonists get run off with, but still, I'll take it. Lost the turret because our defences are terrible. Right, you're not any good for releasing, but... I'm World Fast Walking Brawler. No major injuries, you need capturing. Which means one of these needs to go to prisoners. You guys like that. One of you capture wolf. That was not so bad. I even got a little bit of meds out of it. Nice. Okay. So security. Uh, what's that noise? Oh, that's the noise of a personal shield coming back online, is it not? Whose? Weird. Don't really know who's. Cool. Well, that's a raid survived, albeit kind of cheesily. But, no, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, let's also get that turned off. Battery is relatively inefficient. I think that's because they like being cold. So I might get... Uh, one of the batteries set up in the fridge. Doesn't mean I've got to run power that way, but... Perhaps not important for right now. Some research is getting done. Mining, guys. Mining is what we want done, really. Mucho mining. But we are out of steel, big staff. 
chunk of spacecraft. I guess that's mixed gutworms. Gutworms and the plague. This colony is just killing itself, apparently. That's how it's done. Wish when it said a chunk of spacecraft had landed nearby, it actually showed you where it was. I suppose it's trying to encourage you to look around, and they are fairly obvious, but... Uh, let's remember also, chat and recruit, herbal meds or worse. I do like the, um, the ability to be much more specific. 99 recruitment difficulty means that this could be a massive waste of time. Just from the perspective that converting wolf over ironic wolf. Welcome back, I guess. <laughs> or will be eventually. But yeah, converting wolf will take forever. More is this Carlos needs treatment, so that's going to be the plague this time. Yep. Which I guess is getting better. Major plague now. Which ironically does mean it's getting better. You kind of work, work through stages, it starts minor and then gets worse. In my experience, I've never been able to stop it from going from minor to major. So I assume it kind of has to. Um, the other thing we should really be thinking about doing here, Blight. Damn blight, that is a problem. Uh, <laughs> Harvest what we can. <sighs> if the food wasn't already tight enough, this, this is going to run out. Hopefully we get, what is it, 12th of summer. I think we will get another full growth through before we hit winter and I have to live off what we've got. We haven't actually got very many of these blocks of any of these. I mean, probably not enough to do anything with it. It's five blocks each. Two. That's where we want it. And then, oh, that's been done. Cool. Small herd of thrumbros or thrum thrumbos, thrumbos. Ooh. Peaceful bandit rare creatures extremely dangerous when confronted. Okay, interesting. Wow. Don't think taming this thing. That looks cool as hell. <laughs> I don't think taming this thing is a great idea. Not really sure I call that a herd either. Looks like an. Age 141. Yeah, we're not quite ready for thrombos, I don't think. We do want to get some taming on the go, but yes, yeah, still not quite ready for that yet. Yes, you're turned off for a reason. Thank you very much. Is people generally looking a bit happier now? Let's go with colonist mood. Yeah, we had a very, very unhappy period. We're really only on day 10. <laughs> These guys are doing alright for day 10, look at them go. All this stuff set up. Everything for steel now, still kind of low. As long as you're low, below a thousand, I don't feel particularly comfortable. Mad animal, where are we at? Mad iguana, that is absolutely miles away. Go on, Mr. Iguana. Oh, Jürgen's out to pick, okay, that's fine. Don't want to particularly lose a colonist and an iguana. That would be kind of embarrassing. Dragon, where are you off to? No, that's fine. I think it's time to go slow. Dragon's going to get shot by our turret, isn't it? Oh, there we go. No, just about far enough away. Dragon needs treatment now. A scratch, poor girl. <laughs> uh, I suppose these guys are going to get pretty angry with me if I don't put some... All right, we need to run some more power. Fine, we've got the steel now. Uh, let's have conduit running right the way around this corner so that I can get a battery up in the fridge if I want to. That'll do the job, and we're going to want... Conduit running into the back part of the base as well, and maybe down these corridors. 
Might be enough, although thinking about it. A bit of redundancy. Speed things up. What's going on with Mick's setup that means he's starving himself so often? Because there's food available, but something about how he's set up means that he doesn't seem to want... Oh no. It's gone. There it is. That pile, one of those meals there, contains... contains Twinkie. <laughs> I wonder if any of them ends up... Uh... The bonded animal died. Not et bonded animal. <laughs> Let's find some stuff to tame while we're at it. Not that. I like how it's tempting me to come stand next to my base and be like, yeah, hello. Can we? Ah, it's not in range. I was thinking maybe killing it might be a good idea. It might be a really bad idea. Someone will get really angry with me. Okay, so we have the components and everything else set up. Now, we need a few more bedrooms. Let's get that sort of laid out. This, of course, actually is in is uh, outdoors at the moment until they get some of these walls finished. Uh, I'm also going to cancel all of this floor smoothing because it's a bit ridiculous how long it's taking. I didn't really twig how long that, that stuff all took to do. <laughs> That's fine though and we can also... Actually not these ones, just, just really the prisoner room you need the lighting because they don't. the colonists themselves don't spend any time in the bedrooms really, but the prisoners spend all their time in there. I'm surprised there isn't uh, um, in darkness debuff there actually. It's a bit better, some stuff actually getting done now. So did we not have the blocks for that? That is granite, isn't it? Yeah, it is granite. Yes, we do have the blocks for that. Just. I think that should be exactly all of our blocks, but still. Yeah, I just think the priorities with this many people are not perfect. And we've got longs, like we did this side of long, but we didn't do this side, so... Could be too much joy time thinking about it, that's um... Uh, so that one, two, one, two, one, two... Like that. That should be joy. Should be sleep. This is unnecessary complex way of setting it up. But it looks kind of pretty. Whether it works or not, I don't actually know. I think so. <laughs> the staggering is certainly helpful. That much I can definitely attest to. Can someone build the wall so the base is not outside? Sensory mechanites. Wow, there's a lot of random new diseases. We're just catching all of them, apparently. Oh, weird. That's really cool. So... You have to treat it, because otherwise they'll be in pain the whole time, unless you've got someone that's a masochist. And I think we did. Who was it? Jürgen and Long. No, you see, that's a shame. I think it was... Who was it? It was Dragon? Dragon's the masochist. Oh well. That, all, that almost could have been perfect. We just leave them with it. Um, whereas I think in this case we're going to actually have to do something about it. But so be it. Uh, reinstall that. I don't know why I wasn't using the reinstall app thing instead. Kinda a bit easier. It's better. Need doors. Some fun little noise going on. I 
wonder what that's... Is that to do with the sensory mechanites? Is that because we've cured them, or...? Really odd. Cool, but odd. Cool, and that can be deconstructed. And I think this one can go medical. Get one more door on, and that's looking all right. Looking all right. How many? Is there five colonists at the moment we have? Just want to make sure I've left room for an extra prisoner bed. So, yeah, that should be all right. What I'm saying, that could also do with clearing some of the junk out of the base and perhaps even filling in the hole at the back of it. Nice. So that means we can go... No, that means we now have to deconstruct this and build doo -doo -doo, the high-tech one, which, of course, doesn't fit. Not so helpful. Okay, and we've also... We need to fill in this side. We don't have any stone to do it with. So maybe some steel wall? At least for the time being. I want to make room back here for like a little production area or something so we can open this all out. Bit of that as well, maybe. Yep. Might work. I'll open that up. So, yeah, we're outside for the time being, but that's not a big deal. They've got their own individual rooms. Yeah, I did have that down for deconstruction, and then we just replace that with one of these. And hopefully that chair is enough for people to still use that table. If not, I'll just move it somewhere else. Although we do have plenty of room up here now for stuff as well. I can get some production on the go there too. I kind of want this down the bottom out of the way. And so, we got cooking, what we really want, and tailoring. Let's deconstruct that as well, get it out of the way. We haven't researched a lot of the uh, production stuff looking at, thinking about it. Yeah, that looks about right. Mick, was it gutworms? I'm getting paranoid because... I saw that area complete and I've had too many occasions where I've had cave-ins and caused myself more problems than it's worth. Right, this should all now all be mineable. That should be mineable. Check the home regions doing what it's supposed to. Low food, yeah, I can't do much about that. The, the blight destroyed all my crops, remember? Interestingly, it looks like they're not getting replanted quickly enough. Who's... Let's have a look. Because Mick's supposed to be growing, but it spends all of his time cooking. Okay, we're going to have to shift Kieran onto the cooking side of things. No passion, but got a little, at least a little bit of skill for now. Until we get things slightly more reliably set up. Uh, also fancy myself some better defence for these turrets. Doesn't cost much to do so, so we might as well get rid of that bit as well. And potentially some defences for my dudes to get in behind if they push too successfully. Where's the growing zone here? Is that it? Okay. That should do that. I also want to, with whatever blocks we've got, fill that gap there in, because I suspect that I will regret not doing so. <laughs> Bit better. One colonist idle. Long is idle. What could you be doing, Long? Could you be hunting, perhaps? You have decent hunting skill. Mining is what you're all about. Construction repair. Let's have you on potential hunting as well. 
research bench is finished so let's get geothermal on the go too yeah well, i think we're going to want to do some hunting uh we're also let's have a look do chop wood i'm not going to say no to a bit of wood while we have a look for some things to hunt uh, you're huntable drone dairy is not too bad uh yeah boomalope no i think i'm good oh hello Hello, bit of gold, not even very far away. Only doing that straight away because I will forget otherwise. I know you guys will remind me, but still. Anything to hunt. There's not really anything even to hunt here. Uh, I kind of want to tame a lizard. I'm not sure taming the drone dairies are really worth it. I think hunting the drone dairies makes more sense. Again, this is almost certainly where you're going to turn around and say, No! You don't hunt the drone dairies, they give this. And this is some kind of amazing thing, and you're now missing out. You've killed them all. Or something like that. Wow, it's been very generous with the freebie expensive resources nearby. Not complaining, but... That's impressively generous. Dragon is off to... Ooh, a media hunting. I don't seem to remember that Dragon was the one that should really be. Oh, maybe. Poor mood, Jürgen. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. It's it's terrible, I know, but... All right, floors. How much is a wood floor? Three wood. Because they're really quick is the thing with wood. Like, you run nice and fast on it, and it's really, really clicked, quick to lay down. And it'll stop people complaining at me quite so hard. So, perhaps a use for the wood. I might also want to start redoing this wall here as well, thinking about it. There's also some stuff that needs hauling in here too. Going on, poor mood, yep, yeah, I'm aware. Low food is also a problem, although we've got some stuff to butcher, so that's kind of okay. Uh, I don't think we really need to make kibble out of it anymore. We kind of killed and ate the dog. <laughs> Someone's throwing up around the base, that's always good. Okay, so a bit of the growing stuff has been done now. Let's uh, not cut plants, let's chop wood. A few more cacti that we can lop down. Trees. It's starvation, is this Mick again? Hmm. Something about this is not working. In particular, Mick. Anyway, what? I am going to mix this up. Let's replace this whole line with work and then add a double line of anything there. Don't know, just trying things. In theory, that would the anything time is where they can go off and eat relatively freely, was the thinking. But yeah, look how much quicker that is than trying to smooth the floor. Uh, we are out of stuff again. Going through steel at a pretty crazy rate. Is that just building all the sandbags? They're not that expensive. Oh well, that's a bit more. There's not that much that's that close. Could also, I suppose, deconstruct that ship part while we're at it as well. Kieran's going to go and try and tame some things. Mega Scarab. You see, Mega Scarabs are vicious. Can we... No, no. Let's, let's not. I know it's only a 1% chance, but... As mentioned, Mega Scarabs are indeed vicious. <laughs> and yes, I think I'm fine without trying. <laughs> Uh, 
food. Food is still a problem. What can I do about that? Aside from hunting and trading for food, because we're not going to be able to grow it in time. I yes, think that got dark pretty quickly. <laughs> and then it was night. Oh, I also noticed that and then it was almost 45 minutes. A much slower episode. I suspect that I need to work my priorities a bit better. I also suspect that having Wolf around here is almost a waste of time. I mean, he's in a good mood, but all we're really doing is feeding him and spending a lot of time sort of dealing with the fact that he exists. Making them walk the whole way round for that looks ill-advised as well, so... I was saying that, cutting it through also becomes a way for other people to get around. Long, what are you so angry about? Other than sensory mechanites. Uh, it's pain, disturbed sleep, slept in the cold. Eight without table, that's your own problem. There is a table. Is it that cold inside? Maybe it is. And if it's cold inside now, it's only going to get worse. So. There's no really particularly efficient way of doing this, I don't think. Space is already occupied. I suppose, yeah, I need to take down the walls. Damn it. Completely out of wood. And having to go far too far to get any more. All of that stuff's just slowing everything down. Good to see we can at least survive through the eclipse on the single battery by the looks of things. Starvation again while he's asleep. The first thing he does is get up and has some food. And then he's like, how hungry are you? Food, full. How can you go if from full to starvation that quickly. I don't really get that. Trigger this up for some more mining, but this is looking fairly tough in the desert. I mean, I expected food to be a problem, but that blight is starting to look like it hit us pretty hard. 50% grown, 17% grown, like this stuff's not growing particularly quickly either. I don't, don't make me do nutrient paste, I hate doing nutrient paste. The base is also a mess. The boomalope have just come to say hello. Suppose that's okay. There is so little wood to be had. Suppose it's a good means it's a good job I'm growing some of my own, but that's not gonna be enough. And look how slow it grows. Okay, how bad is the food gonna get? Critical alert, colonist needs treatment. Oh, it's gut rot again. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to go nutrient paste. Maybe not. Maybe not. We got, in fact, we got the meat. I can always hunt a bit more. Worrying a bit too much about getting the floor down in the base, I think, as well. <laughs> I know what I should be worrying far more about is 
comms console and some way of trading. Anywhere sensible we can put this? Actually, yeah, down in this room. Terrible mood times two. Kind of needs tabs, yeah. What are we going to find out? Joy deprived and in pain. Uh, now that would suggest that this just isn't working in its current position, so... Should be alright. Also do with some lighting in there. Three squares up from the bottom. So, there. Terrible mood. Jürgen in a daze. Why? Is that just from those? I imagine it is. How long do your sensory mechanists last? <laughs> uh, no idea. No idea, and I can't help but feel that this colony is already teetering on the brink of something horrid. Uh, what am I even looking for? I'm looking for an little bit of trade beacon. And here, maybe? Inside? Uh, I think down here for the time being makes sense. And people are also exhausted. We go to bed then. In fact, have gone to bed. How? Could that? Yeah, it's getting way cold inside. Okay, that makes some sense. This is going to push what's going on with our power situation pretty badly. Let's have a heater there for the moment, and. Whack a battery up in the fridge. Let's see if we can get better efficiency out of it if it's cool. So yeah, time is up for this episode. I'm just kind of hoping for an event that will be a really good place to end it on. If not, then yeah, we'll just have to call it regardless. Got all the materials I need to finish off these bits at least. It'd be nice if we converted wolf, but look, 0.54% chance. Pretty damn unlikely. Uh, let's also go and just to make sure that that's actually usable. better. Someone's actually cleaning the place up a bit as well, which is kind of nice. Long is broken down into a daze as well. Now, is Long the other guy with the nanites? Yes, so, so it's the nanites that are kind of causing this. And I'm not sure what we do about them other than it's treatment in five hours, yeah. So, other than wait. Is it Jürgen's the other one? It's treatment at 7.1. Yep. Yeah. Not really much else I can do about it. Okay, cleaned up. That means that there's not many other jobs left going. We are still going to want some of that, but we were more importantly, let's see if I can get some wood to finish the episode out on. Aha! That's a little treasure trove of wood up the top here. This is the, uh, the room we've got to be aware of going too close to, of course, but maybe that'll be enough to get the floors finished off. And yeah, I guess we're going to call it there because Storyteller's not doing a huge amount. I guess it feels like I'm killing myself just fine and doesn't really need to get involved at this point. I am just going to run out of food some point soon unless some of this stuff actually gets to grow properly. 60, yes, long way away from being fully grown still. Food is still a big concern. Hopefully with the trade, con trade console and the beacon up, although that does now need power. Good job. 
I checked. We're going to need to go quite a long way down out here as well. About that. Got those up. Maybe we can trade in some food and help ourselves out that way. Either way, uh, wrap up for the episode. We opened up the internal area. We've got something that's vaguely base-like now. It's going to work as a sort of temporary location for us. We're perhaps a little bit more um, weak around the back here. So something to consider. But not too bad was this hunter lacks weapon yeah long that's because you're dazed my friend so yeah hope you enjoyed that episode guys if you did please hit like please hit subscribe really does help me in the channel out and if you didn't then i can kind of understand because that was a kind of quiet one not much happened almost made a horrible mistake at the start and yeah there's been some funny illnesses then let me know down in the comments how i can improve and yeah thanks a lot for watching i will catch you next time and of course Save and quit.